We are creating this Morphin Zoom on presentation for your interview or your presentation at work. You could even use it for social media. Open your Canva with me and practice with me, but you can also grab a free template on the description below. This is going to be a six step process that we're going to follow. Once you've opened up your presentation, you're going to go to your elements. You're going to be searching for building and you're going to be looking for photos on buildings, different kinds of buildings that you could use. So you could scroll down, pick anyone that you like, and then add it to your canvas. You click on it once and then you right click and you set the image as background. And then you highlight the picture or you select the picture and you click on transparency and you reduce transparency to about 40 and then your step number one is done step number two you're going to create the wheel that we want to use for us to start working on the second step we're going to add a new page and you're going to press c for circle and you're going to create a nice large circle that you're going to be creating a rotating wheel using this circle we want to change this color and use a nice blue so we're gonna use the hex code 233 dff and we're happy with that code next we're gonna press another c for circle and we change that color to white and we start reducing the size of that circle and we create like halfway we duplicate that shape and you add the second the second circle and you do that throughout the circle so that you have six circles lovely once you've created your wheels with gaps on you're going to download this image so you're going to click on share on download and then select a png with a transparent background great stuff then we delete everything on that page and then we go to our downloads we add the image and once the image is added on our system we then click on the image select edit image and we want to take off the white shapes that are there so we're going to remove the background and then the white shapes are all going to be gone and we click on apply then we copy this image and we paste it to the first presentation so that you have an, a wheel that looks like that then you can go back to page two, delete the image. This is our working area. Once you've gone back to the first image, you're gonna crop out the extra space that's created automatically when you were removing background. You then increase the size and align it to the page. To our third step, are you still with me? Press the like button if you're still with me on the description below and tell me your thoughts on this process next we want to create circles so this is step number three circles that are going to go in on our wheel we're going to use our work area we're going to press c for circle we're going to create four circles so we're going to press t for text you change the font we use fridoka one and you change the color and make it nice white Depending on what kind of presentation you have, you will have, for our purposes, we're going to have a what. What, who, we're going to add different elements and icons on here. So we're going to have a nice graph. Nicely done. All of our icons are created. We're then going to download these as a PNG. And we're gonna make them transparent background and we want current page 2 as a PNG or some nice then we go back to our first page and we add the icons that we've just created to the presentation and we are good to go we're gonna duplicate put it on the side and then reduce the size so that we have a what that would be coming out so we're gonna size it and align it to our presentation now that you are done with the what you're going to grab the image that you have duplicated you're gonna take off the what and you, now you want the who duplicate that put the who on the side 
grab the other hole and bring it to the bottom of the page so that it's just slightly showing like that and then take off the who and have the how show and do exactly the same for the how and have it on the third like that once you you've added everything and you're happy and it looks like it's perfectly aligned like this then you're going to duplicate this page very important you're going to go to the ellipsis or the menu and then you duplicate the page once it's duplicated and we have a second page this is where we start animating everything so we want this wheel of ours to start rotating and showing the agenda points that we're going to be talking about to the people in the meeting you're going to start with rotating the wheel. So you're going to select the wheel, go to the rotate and start rotating the wheel like that. Then you're going to grab your what? You're going to move it to the second slot. You're going to grab your who? You're going to move that to the first slot. You're going to grab the how? You're going to move that to the last slot and we want the when so we're going to add the when and delete all of these other circles the when is going to be just there at the bottom showing ever so slightly like that next we do the last thing on our page we morph everything so you're going to go to add a transition just between the slides and you select match and move so that it starts rotating then you're going to go to the first slide and you're going to play your presentation and you want to see how it moves so you're going to go next page and it starts moving and you're going to do exactly the same on the third page so we're going to go three dots we're going to duplicate the page and then we have page three with our page three we click on the wheel and we look for the rotate we rotate our wheel lovely we grab our what we move our what to the third slot So maybe the only thing you could add on here is an agenda so press t for text and add the word agenda we're just gonna copy the agenda to all of our slides we don't want it to move at all we want it to sit exactly where it is so i'm gonna go back to the first slide and see how it actually all looks together lovely 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 perfect the last thing i would do is to make sure that each point on our agenda enlarges or zooms into the actual page where i'm talking through the point in the meeting so the next thing that i would do is to add an extra page and on my extra page i would still use the image that we've used initially and add that on there and then i would add the topic what and with my topic what i would go and copy the image of the what and edit on my agenda piece So in order for us to have the zoom effect from 
the image on there we're going to press the plus button and add an extra page after we've added our extra page we're just going to copy the what we're going to paste the what we're going to enlarge it so that it fills the page we're going to zoom all the way in until you're left with a blue space and if you want to set your duration you can click on the durations of your slide and you can play it to see how the slides play like you know and it allows you to move to wherever you want to move so let's just quickly see if we go to slide number four and we look at the duration and we reduce the duration including this the what slide we're going to select it and reduce the duration but because we have chosen duration we can then have the functionality to reduce the slides to exactly where we want them to be so your duration is quite nice when you're editing but of course when you're presenting in front of everybody you'd use the present here or the present of the full screen over there now let's see how our zoom looks like so I'm going to click on play, zoom, and there's our talking point slide. Awesome. To create the zoom out effect, we're going to go back to the main slide or the agenda slide that has all of our bullet points. We're going to duplicate the slide and move the duplicated slide after the page that we had the what bullet points. Now let's see our zoom out effect. Nice. Match and move is really great when you're using it on Canva. Exactly the same for your next bullet point, which is who. And copy that, have an extra page, paste that today, zoom it out, and then create it the way that we've done on the previous slide. Do that for all the bullet points zoom in and zoom out and have lots of fun i am sharing this template in the description below i will change all of the paid version things on here so that it's free and it's available to everyone morph is available to everyone please smash the like button and the subscribe button if this has added value i'm super excited about this and i hope canva will help us with the zoom in and the zoom out Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And go to our playlist for Canva. I will see you on the next video. Yeah.